angels how are you doing welcome once again <laughs> this is story time guys i told you i'm going to be sharing this just to help somebody out there who might be going through what i went through and also to tell people i mean how it is sometimes in relationship and why some men or women will continue to be in a relationship even when the relationship is quite very very abusive and very very toxic <laughs> What was the most stupid thing you did for love? Put it in the comment section. I also want to hear from you. I also want to read from you. This is the second episode and in the first episode, I just told you how I met with this guy who is my ex and I told you also the reason why I'm making this video. People have their behaviors, people have their character, people have their attitude and the worst thing that will happen to you is to think that you can change anybody. I mean, that's the most stupid thing you can ever think that you can actually change an adult. No, don't think about it. Don't even let it come to your mind that you can actually change an adult. An adult will change if they want to change, not by you. If God touches their hearts to change, they will change by themselves. Yes. So in this episode, we are going to be talking about how this guy I felt was a good Samaritan <laughs> who has so much money to throw around, who has so much money to give to a student to support her cause. I that these were all the things that were going through my mind. Even though at the back of my mind, I knew that I mean, who is that man that will give you the I mean that amount of money without looking for something in return something was just telling me but i was just pushing that away and on a second thought i said oh he's good looking he's handsome he's probably comfortable well spoken well groomed i mean what else do you have what else do you want in a man i mean what else do you want in a man and meanwhile when i was going to the uni i just told myself i wasn't going to date any students on campus yes you heard me <laughs> Yes, that was my resolution. I said I wasn't going to date any student on campus because even before I left for uni, my mom told me, Oh, you me konye di meni, eh me konye di meni, eh me konye di ma, ine mo you me konye di ma, ma kololo. Yes, if you want to really go into any relationship, I mean, you should clear your eyes, you should know what you want, you should know why you're going into that relationship in case anything happens and it ends up in marriage so that you don't regret it so that was what the i mean the song i just sang that's just the literal meaning of it so after like i think it was like either eight or nine days it wasn't up to two weeks i got another call from the phone books and this lady who was in ch who was in charge at that time came to my hostel and told me evangel you have a call i said oh who could, who could that be? She now said the person's name. Maybe I should just uh, use an abbreviation. I will call him Mr. N. Yes, I'll call him Mr. N. Because I don't want to mention his name here. It's really not important. He said it's Mr. N, like I said. N means, you know, my ex. So when he when she told me it's Mr. N, I said, oh, why would he be calling? Is there any problem with the form I filled? Does he want his money back? You know, I was really curious. I was really tense and anxious. What could make him to call me and all that? And another thought came to me. Probably he likes me. That was why he spent such money on me without even me asking or something. Yes, that voice also was in the background, you know, at the back of my head. Ticking, ticking, ticking. So I went and answered this call, and he was just—he just said, "Oh, when are you coming to Onicha?" I know that. I said, "Why would I come to Onicha? I don't really have any shopping to do because that's the major thing that will take you to Onicha. Maybe if you want to buy something." And at that time, I've not started my business. I, and while I was in uni, I was doing some business. I'll go to Onicha, buy clothes and shoes and some jewelry, then come to school and sell yes at that time i haven't started so i was just saying man there's really nothing that will bring me to on nature and i don't really have any relative living there he now said okay what if i invite you will you be coming i thought about it i said okay if i'm free from my lecture i will come and i said no uh, it might be a weekend and all that just for him to show me around you know the usual lines now i mean in my mind i was just saying mm, now nah, he wants 
to get back what he actually spent right and another man was saying he's just kind naturally probably it's not what you're thinking another man now say why would he want me to come over he's not even asking me out yet and he wants me to come i mean during the weekend and all that and i said no what will happen is this i will come during the weekdays and then i'll see you and come back to school because i mean i don't really know him from anywhere the encounter i had with him was the first time i came to the bank and then the second time he paid for my jam form and that of my younger brother so when i said okay i'll come and see you but it will be on a weekday he said okay it's fine no problem so on a weekday i think that was on a tuesday or something I went to their office and when I got there he said oh I should just wait a little during his break time so he now took me to their canteen you know most banks have like a canteen it's just like a lower restaurant I don't know whether it's a restaurant or I don't know but there was a canteen at the back of their bank building so he actually said I should go there and wait for him. I should order for whatever I want. Yes, that was an open check for the first time in my life. Somebody was giving me that kind of open check, you know, go order whatever you want. <laughs> but for me, I wasn't brought up that way. I've never had any relationship before. So I don't even know what to order for. And I'm a student, a broke one at that. <laughs> Not that, I mean, we're rich or something, but I was just saying, oh, if I order maybe rice and chicken now, it may be too much on him. If I order, okay, I said, okay, let me just go for Coke. <laughs> oh my God, I wish somebody would give me such open check right now. I mean, I would just fill it in within a second, you know, but at that time, I was so shy. I was saying, oh my God, what am I going to order now? Before they would say, oh, she just came to eat food or something. And I said, okay, let me just be prudent and let me order for a Coke. A Coke would definitely do, yes. So they gave me this chilled Coke, you know. So I was just sipping it. Even though I wanted to finish it early, but I didn't want it to look like, oh, you, you have taken one bottle of Coke and probably... <laughs> because you finish it early you're looking for a second one no so i was just sipping it like a you know a lady you know <laughs> my people back in my room they were just you know the ginger was so much oh evangel go and see evangel go and see him probably he likes you probably you know they in fact they were the ones that selected the clothes that i wore to the place i never really had you know i went to i went to a catholic school not not that i don't know how to dress but you know how simple we keep it so I was really, really nervous. When you hear nervous, I was very, very nervous. Yes. So he came into the restaurant and when he came, oh my God, I, it was like grand should open. Let me just jump in, you know, but I had to brace up. My heart was just panting. Boy, boy. I mean, you from a mile, you could hear my heart beat. I mean, you could hear my heart beat, but I had to, you know, manage to hold myself together. I said, oh my gosh, do I really need to do this? Why am I even here? You know, it will look like, oh, you're cheap. I mean, he paid for your jam and so what? Is that why you should come for a second time to see him? Is that why you should oblige his request? You know, it was just going through my mind. What if he what if he says you're cheap what if but behold i mean within me i was just saying maybe he's just kind but this is a i mean a good looking guy and all that if he asks me out definitely i'm going to say yes because i mean i love his person you understand i love his person he's cute he has he's comfortable well spoken looks so gentle and all that what else are you looking for i'm going to say yes to him even though i know he will be so older than me but i was thinking he's maybe in his 30s or yeah in his 30s definitely so he came in and after the drink he asked if i want to eat food i said no i was very hungry i mean hunger just the wire me but i said no you know to <laughs> I don't know what I was forming actually. He was just laughing. He would look at me, he would laugh. I say, Why is this guy laughing? Maybe, you know, my courtesy is not well in tune with his person. I was so uncomfortable, you understand? Because I just said, Oh, what's going to happen and all that. So at the end of the day, he now said, Okay, they should package some takeaway for me. Maybe I'm shy to eat. I said, Okay, it's okay. So they gave me takeaway and I left. Now, weekend, he also called. I should come and visit listen once you want to visit somebody like that 
make up your mind on what you're going to do if the visit goes wrong and now get your transport money going and coming back be prepared for anything because you don't know this person right you're only seeing the person i mean you're only seeing the 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 general outlook or the outward look you don't know what goes on within now my story is i mean i'm going to tell you everything that transpired but just learn something from it don't just watch it for watching sake. don't just hear the story for storytelling sake just learn something from it this the next time he invited me over was his house I obliged him because right now I'm already falling in love I'm already thinking of I mean how he's going to take care of me I'm already thinking of uh, how it's going to be great for me to be his wife yes this is somebody I don't even really know like that but I'm already thinking how great it's going to be for me to be his wife and all that I obliged I was going to go and see his place yes I didn't really think anything was wrong with that so the next weekend i packed my i'm not coming back today there's a small bag almost every student will have it i'm not coming back today that's what we call it so when i went to his place he actually gave me the address i said no i would rather come to your office and then both of us will go home but i'm not going straight to your house because even if i go there who am i going to tell them i am and all that so he said okay no problem then come to the office and i know he closes like 4 4 30 in the evening so i decided to start going there by 3 so by 4 50 thereabouts i was already in his office and they were rounding up with their account balance you know what happens in bank so together with one of his friends his male friends we went home and i i i i remember that his friends uh, that his friend joined us in his car because his own car was at the mechanic the mechanic came and took the car to, for repairs so he joined us in his own car he dropped him off told me this is the friend and the girlfriend was around and they had like a small party in that house for that day and that was part of the reason he wanted me to come i said okay no problem remember this was going to be my very first party yes very first party i'm talking about party in the real sense of party night party this was going to be the, my very first time when uh we got home he just said okay maybe we'll freshen up go out look for something to eat and then we will now head to the party i was so excited i have never attended a party before in my life i was already feeling so excited i was going to attend this party and it's going it was going to be with i mean some big guys in that place in on and all that you know so <laughs> and i never came with any party where remember i don't even have one i don't even have one but i just had a top and jean yes i wear jean trousers a lot so i have a top and a jean so when i asked him i don't have any party where i don't know whether it's okay for me to wear a top and a jean. he said no problem it's okay and all that so i was very much relaxed so we went out to eat in this very exotic restaurant in onicha is actually located in gra i think yeah in gra in onicha i can't even remember all those places right now but that's where the restaurant was located and that's where uh, he was living at that time so we went i think the a plate of food in that restaurant was like six thousand naira at that time i'm talking about <laughs> year 2000 a plate of food was six thousand i was just saying oh my god i wish i cannot eat this i wish i i will not eat this food and then get this money to <laughs> just go back to school i mean who wants to eat six thousand plate of food just like that you know but i had to you know keep myself together i mean forming like what i am not but at the end of it i told him but this is too expensive i didn't really know i mean smaller restaurant around this restaurant is too expensive how can you be still spending six thousand on a plate of food how much is your salary how are you able to save i was you know the usual good girl <laughs> I, I am a good girl i know you don't have to tell me i know I am not that type that will say oh because he has money or because he's willing to spend on me then let me wreck him no i'm not that kind of person i don't even like it when uh, somebody is spending so much on me i don't even like it that's simple truth 
So I was really worried for him. I said, why are you spending this kind of money just in a restaurant? Or rather, you can even give me the 5K. I will make very delicious soup and stew that will last you probably two weeks or even a week if you like. Instead of just coming to eat just one plate of food for 6K. <laughs> and then he would just look at me. You know, he has this... Um, this distinct uh, kind of look he would just look like this and he would smile he wouldn't say much i was just saying oh my god i hope i didn't offend this person i hope i didn't offend him the way he just looked at me and he, probably he would be saying where is this one coming from maybe this village girl or something you know i didn't know exactly what was going through his mind so after eating we went home then after i think it was around 7 p.m. we started going for the party now while we were at the party somebody came a lady came was asking for him this lady is actually from Onicha she's from Anambra state so she was asking after him and the host called him out and told him somebody was looking for him I saw everything that played out but you know me which one is my own now <laughs> i have not even as in my two legs are not even there uh, already so i can also i can always i mean run at any time that was what came to my mind but and i'm not and the second thought i said probably is for something else not really all those kind of he really spent some time outside with the lady and then when he came in I noticed his face wasn't so good again he was really frowning and frowning and being so irritated i was just saying i don't know what i did or is it the call he got outside or something but because i didn't have anything on my head so i fear nothing i mean i wasn't afraid to break anything so after the whole thing he now said we should go home so we went home it not very well when we got to his house there was a lady already in his house in his flat so this lady was in the living room watching television he's older than me of course i greeted her she responded he called me out and said uh the person called her name i'm not going to mention her name the person inside there is a friend i mean she's been all over me and i don't really like her like that i don't really like her but she keeps coming i've told her i don't want her in my life again but she keeps coming and the thing is that she's not even educated she's not in school she's not even doing anything to help herself to get into school and i can't marry and really trade you know i mean i can't no not even marry he said i can't be i can't befriend and illiterate you know so i said oh, why would she be throwing herself on him now i was pitying him yes i was pitying him and on a second thought i said okay even if they were in a relationship i have a better chance because one i i am in school already because he said she wasn't in school so i am in school he said uh, she's not enlightened she can't even speak uh, good english i can speak good english yes and then i was not comparing myself with the lady and then weighing myself against her what is my chance what is her chance is she going to win am i going to win who is he going to stay with and all that but behold at the end of the day after much introduction back and forth talking with the lady and all that he now called me i should do this for him i mean the way he even said it right now when i remember it i'll just laugh <laughs> he just called me and i said just do this for me and i will not forget you for life just do this for me and you have a special place in my heart right now i don't know how to go about it it is my shame it is my fault for inviting you when I have not really dismissed her but I promise to make it up for you that's the usual line I don't forget that <laughs> I promise to make it up for you please I'll be taking you to that my friend's place it's a four bedroom flat you could just sleep in any of the rooms and by tomorrow early morning I'll be picking you and taking you back to your school just do this for me and I love you I'm not doing this because I don't love you and don't take it that oh she's taking a place in my heart and I'm pushing you away no you're just going there for peace to reign so that I will talk her out of my life so that I will have the time to dismiss her and after today you won't see her again after today she's not going to be in my life again for whatever reason 
please do this for me and i said why do you want me to go to your friend's place to sleep i don't even know this your friend even though yes i don't know you also but i feel more comfortable because already my friends know that i'm coming to your house but i don't know this your friend i started crying i never i mean i was so heartbroken that day i didn't know what to do and i said okay no problem so i picked my things and then i went he drove me to the friend's place that was where i slept guys i slept in his friend's place till the next morning and then he came like he promised he took me back to school and that was on a saturday so the next episode i'm going to be ending this here if you have not subscribed why not subscribe if you have not loved if you have not liked like if you have not commented comment what like i said in the beginning what what is or what was the very stupid thing you did for love just to be loved or just to continue being in a relationship whether it's toxic or good relationship what, what was that stupid thing that foolish thing you did just to be in love just to be in a relationship drop in the comment section let me hear from you this is one experience i don't just want to keep to myself yes i've told my husband everything about it and a few friends who are very very close to me but i still feel i should tell you this i mean who knows who will be benefiting from it who knows who will be learning from it so guys in the next episode i'm going to be telling you what happened so stay tuned never go anywhere i love you as always bye